What's up guys, welcome back to What Cheers, I'm Nick. Well, it's that time of year again, it's fall, my favorite time of year, best time of year, I think, um, especially here in New England, I love it. Um, and I did say that I'd be doing something for October. Um, last year, guys, if you haven't seen already, uh, you need to go check out the pumpkin blowout uh, from last year. It was quite the blowout. There's several videos, uh, several tastings, comparisons. We tried some of the best pumpkin beers in the world. And so I was trying to think of something different to do this year, um, but still be able to involve fall beers. Um, so I came up with the idea just to do a, uh, a set of reviews of different barrel aged pumpkin beers. There's not a whole ton of them um, that you can actually get your hands on, but there are a few, and uh, so I figured let's do some barrel aged pumpkin beers and check them out. Um, so, the one we're going to start with here, guys, is Rumpel Drumkin from Cisco Brewers on Nantucket Island off of Massachusetts. Um, I love Cisco, I think it's a really, really cool brewery. If you've never been or never seen pictures of this place, it's pretty much a island party brewery situation. It's it's unbelievable. Um, in fact, they actually have a distillery and a winery um, all within this little village of huts kind of thing. And um, it's just an absolute crazy party um, there in the summer especially. But um, yeah, they, they their beers aren't their beers aren't usually that highly rated to be honest with you, and they're not really that sought after. Um, some of their wild ales like um, Lady of the Woods is one that people go after, um, but really for the most part they're not that great. If you go to the brewery, however, and try the beers that they have at the brewery only, they're pretty goddamn phenomenal. To be honest with you, the bottled ones that go out that are year-round are so-so, but this series, the Island Reserve series, is basically supposed to be their some of their best creative beers that they had at the brewery only, and now they bottle them. Um, this one uh, I've never had before. I'm very interested about it because it sounds amazing. So let's check it out, guys. So it says it's an ale brewed with smoked pumpkins and spices, then aged in X rum barrels. So it sounds pretty good. Um, the regular pumpkin version um, is not the base beer of this, I don't believe, because the um, Pumple Drumkin, which was part of our pumpkin blowout, is a nice pumpkin beer. It's it's kind of earthy, kind of spicy. It's just a it's a it's a middle of the road pumpkin beer, but it's not bad by any means. But this one's a smoked pumpkin. So I don't think it's the same, just barrel age, it's a different brew altogether. So the weird thing about it though, is that this is only 6% alcohol, um, and the Pumple Drumpkin, which is a regular pumpkin, is 6% also. So I'm really confused about that, if it's aged in rum barrels. Also, this beer came out in May of this year, 2013. Very weird time to release a barrel aged pumpkin beer. Um, maybe that was because of the aging, not exactly sure, but I thought that was a little weird. So guys, let's get it into a glass and see what this beer is all about. All right guys, just poured the Rumple Drumkin into the glass. Pretty nice pour actually. Um, there is a like volcano of carbonation coming up from the bottom of this glass. It's insane. It is one of the most carbonated looking beers I've ever seen from any beer. Um, I wish I could show you, but you'll just have to take my word for it. It is a ridiculously heavy, fast stream of carbonation. Um, the beer itself is pretty clear. There's some particulates floating around, nothing big. Um, it's like a dark amber color to it, almost bordering on like red. Definitely almost red, um, but it is kind of clear. The head is a uh, off-white, almost like a yellow head. It's kind of interesting, actually. It looks like a big, creamy uh, kind of beer. Um, definitely on the darker side, though. Kind of reminds you of what a fall pumpkin barrel-aged beer would look like, I guess, for whatever that's worth. 
So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get an aroma on this bad boy. Wow, it's actually pretty nice. Um, right up front, you get that you get that pumpkin spice. There's definitely like a smokiness to this, um, but subtle, not nothing too in your face. Um, I actually left this out to warm for a few minutes before I started filming, and um, it's actually still pretty damn cold. So I think I'm just gonna wait a couple more minutes, let it warm up a little bit more, and then we'll get really into it. All right, guys. So I let it warm up for a couple more minutes. Let's get an aroma on the Rumple Drumkin. Yeah, definitely a heavy smoke to this one. It's coming out almost all smokiness. Um, I'm not really detecting much else at this point. Maybe like a slight sweetness to it. It's those pumpkin spices are subtle, but they're there. Um, you, you just can't really pull a whole lot out of this beer, um, aside from kind of a, a campfire smoke smell. Well, let's give it a shot, guys. Good taste. Cheers. Wow. Um, wow, I can barely uh, speak. Yep, that's going to be a drain pour. That is disgusting. Holy crap. Wow. That's actually one of the worst beers I've ever tasted. And that's saying a lot. I'm actually speechless right now. I'm going to go ahead and give it one more sip. And then the rest of this bottle is getting dumped. I can't even believe they sold this beer. This is absolutely absurd. I bought this like fresh from the store. Went right in the fridge. <clears throat> hasn't been touched since then. And this is just god awful. Oh my god. Wow. The only flavor in this beer is smoke. There's like smoke and malt. That's absolutely it. There's carbonation. There's smoke and malt. Um, it leaves a terrible, disgusting, bitter taste in your mouth. Um, it, it, it's really gross. I, I just, I'm not going to say anything else about it. So do not buy this beer. It is disgusting. Um, I'm really disappointed, as you might be able to tell. There's absolutely no pumpkin spice in this beer. You get no pumpkin flavor. You get no rum. I have no idea what they're talking about. There's no rum. In, there's no rum flavor in this beer at all. There's Asian rum barrels. There's nothing there. It's literally just smoke and like a malty, gross flavor with a really bitter finish. Um, yeah, guys, this is ridiculous. I could go on for like a half hour about how bad it is, but you do not need me to do that. So overall, this beer is a 78 um, on Beer Advocate, which is in their okay range. Um, there's only 15 reviews, I think, or something like that. Um, this beer, I, I mean, it's just an F. I'm not, doesn't matter what I score, it's just an F. It's, it's, it's just really bad, quite frankly. Um, so, yeah. Well, the good news is, guys, the next Barrel Age Pumpkin Beer I review could not possibly be any worse than this. So that's good news and uh, positive thinking looking forward. So so do not buy Cisco Brewer's Rumple Drumpkin. Um, I'm really surprised they even put this out if they knew that it tasted like this. That's, that's pretty terrible of them. But anyways, guys... Um, I'm not gonna cheers this one. This is probably the this is the worst beer I've ever reviewed on the show. Definitely the worst beer I've tasted on the show. So I'm sorry about that, but um, hey, I guess you live and you learn, right? So I'll see you in the next beer review. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.